Oh my god. So, <laughs> is that better or worse than you thought it would be? Oh, the black. Not as good as you the thought. The black stuff came out. Welcome to Food Fears, where I make something you hate taste great. Please welcome today's guest, host of Hot Ones, Sean Evans. Yeah, well, that was good. That's very funny. Sean, thank yeah, you so it's, much. Yeah, it's the bald thing. That's what that is. Well, thank you for being on the show today. It still shocks me that um, anyone shows up here and does this. It's really crazy, so thank you. It's exciting, yeah. You've kind of made creepy things on the internet, like a huge part of your brand, but you've somehow yeah. managed to avoid eating creepy things. How did you avoid having to eat creepy things for internet fame? Uh, well, I that's just not something I've ever done. I, I usually have a very strict diet. I ah. intermittent fast. You look like oh. you work out, so you know you probably know a little something about nutrition and whatnot. The only thing I said that I wouldn't eat, and I didn't mention that until I walked in here, was tarantulas. Uh, that would be the only. You're like, oh, this is gonna be uh, an awkward thing. <laughs> yeah, cut. <laughs> All right, so you you fried chicken in a deli for ten years. Is that like? the most food experience you have. You guys are so good at the research. I love it. I love it. I remember back in the day was that when I was on Ear Biscuits, uh, the, the amount of research, in-depth research, was very impressive. So yes, I used to fry chicken. I paid my way through university doing that. And yeah, I've, I've, I've always enjoyed fried chicken and fried things. I, I feel like you're asking me that as like, is that foreshadowing? No, no, no. There's okay. a lot of misdirection coming. I'm so from scared every right now. Way. Just so that's you what know. I really get off on. Not in a weird way, <laughs> okay. but yeah, the tension coming off of you is really my whole my game. day has just been. I I'm just. It. I'm like, okay. Are you ready to find out what you're going to be eating today? I think I'm ready. Okay. If everyone else because is ready. Because it is. So it is fish eyeballs. So okay. This is not very commonly eaten. Obviously, if you are at say a Singaporean wedding, like I was a couple months ago, and a grandma hands you an eyeball out of a roasted fish, you got to eat it but not a lot of people cook with it, so I'm really excited to get down to it. I want to tell you why this, con <laughs> why this concerns me. Because uh, when I used to work at that grocery store, mm. I, one time, uh, because apparently I'm twisted, I actually poked a fish in the eye. It was dead. And uh, some black stuff like oozed out of it. Mm -hmm. <sighs> He's getting gross there <laughs> just thinking about it. Uh, so it was like a weird like inky stuff. Yeah. And I always thought to myself, well, I'm so glad that like that was never in my mouth. Mm-hmm. We do have to eat this just completely plain. This has just been boiled for safety, just to get a flavor profile. I need to know what you're feeling so I can kind of craft my dish around your thoughts. This is a good meditative experience. Try and leave your body. And is there something like... You just spit right into my hands. Oh, God. It'll be a bonding moment. My yeah. heart's beating. It's so funny, like the way that I'm reacting to this. But at the end of the day, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do this like Timon and Pumbaa. Slimy, mm -hmm. yet satisfying. Right down the gullet. Okay. All right, so we got to chip it and dip it. We're still working on the brand. And we have show. to we have to chew it. Uh, you can do it any way you want to, brother. One, two, three. You get a little bit of crunch. The crunch <coughs> is the lens. It, so I I hope I do. Oh, mama. <laughs> do you like it? Or I'm no? trying to throw up. Uh, I feel. Is that good? Are you swallowing it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh these are, I just toss them back like popcorn. Yeah. Oh, we gotta, you seem to have... Okay. Something crunchy. I... Oh my god. So, <laughs> is that better or worse than you thought it would be? Oh, the black. Not as good as you the thought The black stuff be. came out. There was some hard, crunchy things in an eyeball, which is concerning to me. Mm -hmm. And that really freaked me out. I was not ready for that. Some tendons behind the eye. That's the optic nerve. Thank you. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I mean, the good news is the Mickey. bar is so low that like, I mean, I barely have to do anything to make this better and palatable Ooh. for you. So that excites me as a chef. I don't like to work hard. Oh, the black stuff. <laughs> is my tongue black? A little residue on it. You're gonna oh, be tasting that's that lovely. For a okay. We'll get it's on my Listerine. hands. All right, so you can go wash your hands, Listerine up. If you come back, <sighs> I'm gonna have a beautiful dish and I know I can get you to fall in love with these balls. I would love to. Yes, okay, beautiful. I'll be back. <laughs> Sorry, I just need that to wake up. All right. Extracting an eyeball from a fish feels a lot like what I imagine it is to kill a man. There we go. Or like kind of like cracking a walnut, you know? Like one of the two. And circumcised. To make our herby linguine, we're gonna take basil and parsley, blanch that for a few seconds, shock it in ice water, and then get it right into our food processor with some more ice cold water, and then some olive oil just to kind of give it a little bit of body. And then 
and a let it ride. The type of guy that says let it ride is the type of guy who doesn't mind throwing on the John Travolta, William H. Macy, and Tim Allen hit movie Wild Hogs on a Wednesday night. I don't know why I say let it ride. I, I don't say that, I'm not that guy. It's more of a weekend thing for me. You should see all that beautiful green liquid just kind of pouring out there. And now we need to start building the actual pasta. So you take that herb puree and you're gonna whisk it in with some eggs. You wanna do this right next to a pot of boiling water and then you're actually gonna lean over and your sweat is gonna season your pasta. An old trick that a very sweaty grandmother taught me. My grandma is a very sweaty woman and she's never going to watch this because she doesn't understand what I do for a job and explaining YouTube to her is like uh, explaining what a train is to a horse. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna dump two and a half cups of flour. This is double zero flour which uh, means something. Who knows, who's to say? And you make a well in the middle of that, and then you're gonna pour that herby egg mixture in the middle. Hold! Also let a bunch just completely break the floodgates and go all over your table and maybe on the floor and maybe on your shoes. <laughs> no, my son, my beautiful son. And then you're gonna mix that all together and then knead it with your hands until it starts to form a dough. Just get a lot of aggression out. Tomatoes are supposed to be in the dish. Blank, all right. Then you're gonna wrap that dough in plastic. You're gonna let it rest in the fridge for about a half an hour. All right, so now we gotta take our dough and we gotta feed it through our official Food Fears pasta sheeter, now available at mythical.store. That's not true, but please buy a mug or something. And then you're gonna run it through a pasta sheeter a few times so it's nice and thin. And if you hate pasta, use it as a really gross scarf. Now this is ready to be turned into our linguine. And now this goes through this one. Goes through this one! First, you have to have your associate producer, Nicole. If you don't have one, go find one. Teach you how to use a linguine cutter because apparently you don't know how to do it. There we go. Now you see your beautiful noodles are coming out with the help of someone more competent than you. Drop these guys in there. Make it salty like the ocean or the tears of an enemy. You're just gonna cook that for about three or four minutes until al dente, and then you're gonna pull that off and saute it right in the sauce. To make the eyeball scampi sauce, you start with a lot of butter heating in a pan, then you saute garlic with that, and then you're gonna deglaze the pan with white wine that you're gonna let reduce for a minute. One for you, one for the pan. An Italian grandma taught me that. I think she just had a problem. Now we're gonna take chicken stock. I like to add a little bit of stock because it kind of gives that little savory edge. Capers in there, and then pasta water. This is really key because that's actually gonna help bind everything together. It's got a little bit of that starch in there. And now we're gonna go ahead and take our eyeballs and we don't wanna overcook them. So we're gonna put these in there and you're just waiting for the eyes to turn white, like a white walker in Game of Thrones. Man, they really botched that last season, didn't they? It looks dead inside like a doll's eyes. It's from Jaws? Never seen it. All right, so you see the whites of the eyes are really becoming cloudy. That means the fish is officially dead, whereas previously it was alive. Squeeze in half a lemon, make sure you have no open wounds. Ironically, I always do, this hurts. And then we're gonna add our parsley in there. And then in comes the pasta. Then just let that continue to saute until about half that liquid's gone. To plate the final dish, we're gonna take the pasta that's in the saute pan, put it into a beautiful handcrafted plastic bowl that I found at a discount store, and it wouldn't be food fears if we didn't cut to the reveal. Are you ready to check out the final dish that yes, I prepared? Yes, I am. Okay, so you've been known for your creepy pasta videos, so I wanted to make you a literal creepy pasta. This is fish eyeball linguine wow. scampi. So please uh, dig in. I'd recommend you kind of get an eyeball on the end of it, kind of twirl it up. See, it's just psychological. Like, just I'm looking at it. It's just pasta. It's just fish. Yeah, it it's could be any pasta. any fish product. It might as well be shrimp. We don't have the budget for that oh, yet. Oh boy. See, I put that one back in hopes I'd find a better one, nope. but they're all... I wanted to tell you, that was the best it's gonna get. Oh, Lord almighty, okay. All right, you got one loaded up? And you yeah, can chase it's it just, with a crostini. Just, oh. Yeah, that's got more on it, bruh. Yeah, well, okay, so I wanna do a quick cook on these eyeballs to like really give you that texture, and then I did a sort of longer braise in the caponata. It's very nice of you. Uh, okay, let's do it. Mm. See, it's so good, but it, my brain is so confused right now. Focus on the good flavors. Mm -hmm. Oh, it crunched. Focus on the olive oil. Mm, yep. Mm. It's a beautiful, luxuriant mm. olive oil from Italy. Uh, it's imported. I'm so confused. The beautiful floral bitter notes. Oh, man, yep. Come through. Floral. Then you got all that white wine, the acid. 
telling everything. But how aromatic is the garlic? And then, oh my God, I didn't even get into the basil and parsley puree in the pasta. Look at that beautiful green color. Yeah. I mean, you would pay $23 for this, a nice Italian trattoria. And, and there. That is so tasty, what you're saying. Yeah. And then, I mean, we haven't even gotten to the caponata yet. There's a little bit of golden raisins wait. in there. And now it's gone. Now, that was good. Is it gone? Now it's gone. That was actually very good. I'm not gonna lie. Thank uh, the, you. the pasta, not the. I don't get a ton of compliments around here, so that really means a lot to me. Man, hit me up anytime. I'll just text you randomly. I'll be like, bro, you know what? You look nice today. I'm, I don't even see you, but you look nice. Today. I'm. You're gonna regret that. I'm very codependent. <coughs> uh, <laughs> I did it. I swallowed. Uh, there was probably at least three eyeballs in there. You got. Uh, you sucked down a lot of balls on that one. So, how do you feel about the experience? How do you feel about eyeballs as a dish? Do you, would you say your fear has dissipated? I think like with most things. <coughs> It's just psychological. Yeah. I would say my fear is probably yes. It's probably, and it was all because of you, so thank you. Probably, that. yes. That's like as good as I'm ever going to get here because this is, I mean, really uphill battles that we're fighting on some of this. Oh, man. I, I honestly <laughs> I honestly feel like you guys took it easy on me. Like, eyeballs are nasty, and <clears throat> there's like a shell to an eyeball. Mm -hmm. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> there's like a shell to the eyeball, and then there's like the goo inside with the black stuff. <clears throat> but <clears throat> if you get past that, it's not bad. Thank you so much for being here. Of course, and yeah. everybody, subscribe to Matthew Santoro on YouTube. He makes awesome stuff, uh, but you'll never see him eat eyeballs in his channel, I'm assuming. Or will you? Boom. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching and supporting me. And if you want to keep showing support, please go subscribe to the Mythical YouTube channel. If I get enough subscribers, I can make even more content for you. So please go subscribe. And again, thank you.